Ryan and Lachlan Lonigan have always called Williamsdale home. 43 kilometres from the centre of Canberra, the Lonigans grew up on 640 hectares of property with livestock and space for the setup of every sporting kid's dream. After I hit my 100, I go for a dig. <laughs> <laughs> But just days from round one of Super Rugby, that home was in serious danger as the Auroral Valley fire began to rage. The fire burned through Namaji National Park, coming within 45 kilometres of the Lonigans family home and putting hundreds of homes under threat. That week when Ryan and Lachlan weren't training, they spent their time working to make sure their house survived. Season launch um, and I think the day before that the fire started up at Namaji and then um, the weather was looking pretty bad. So we sort of did what we had to do at the season launch and then came home, um, cleaned the gutters out and stuff, and just sort of did what we could. We were already pretty prepared with sort of water supplies and that. Um, but then after that, um, I think we still had a bit of pre-season and then, um, yeah, I think we just sort of kept training and just keeping an eye on it. It was pretty nerve wracking, sort of going to training and then knowing that there's a fire bearing down in your house. The fires had already displaced the Brumbies in pre-season, poor air quality forcing the squad to relocate to Newcastle early in January. As the Aurora Valley fire grew, the Lonigans were prepared to return home and fight at any moment if they got the call. Yeah, well, obviously it had an impact on the whole team. We had to move up to Newcastle it wasn't ideal, but it's just what we had to do to uh, keep training. And then for us personally, we didn't really have to change a whole lot. Um, it sort of got to the point where um, we knew there was a fire there, but it was still quite a ways off and uh, it wasn't really moving very quick. So we thought just we'd uh, go to training and then if mum sends out a call, then we'd come home <laughs> and Dan was all right with that. So yeah, that's how we, we just played it by ear. In total, the Aurora Valley Fire destroyed 86,562 hectares of land, 80% of the Namaji National Park. But the Lonigans and many of their neighbours' properties were spared. You see like the homes, even like down the coast and stuff, like they've lost everything. You know, it's pretty like sad, but yeah, I feel like the whole of Williamsdale and even Burrow count themselves lucky because it's predicted to like burn through here. So yeah, we're pretty lucky, I guess. With a horror bushfire season finally under control, the Lonigans have a special rugby goal set for 2020, aiming to play Super Rugby together for the very first time. It's obviously a goal for uh, for the end of the year. It will be really cool. Uh, it's not every time you get to we used to play. We haven't played each other for a, we haven't played with each other for a while. Um, so yeah, it'd be really cool to be able to do that again. Yeah, it'd be awesome to be able to play a Brummies game uh, with Nos. It'd be sort of a dream come true really. I mean, it was a dream come true for me to be able to play one game for the Bruns, but to be able to uh, play one with Noss, I think that'd be something truly special and um, probably a moment I'd never forget playing with Noss, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. That moment might just be around the corner for the Lonigans too. Lachlan and Ryan, both named on the bench for the Brumbies, round four clash against the Chiefs this weekend.